Hi, kindergarten. Today we're going to read Pigsty by Mark Teague. He is the author. I often read this book to my own children um, to remind them how important it is to be very responsible with our belongings. And this book talks about it in a very silly but really fun way. I hope you enjoy it. Here is our title page, Pigsty by Mark Teague. Monday afternoon, Wendell Foltz's mother told him to clean his room. It's turning into a pigsty, she said. I think when we say pigsty, people usually think of really messy. Wendell went upstairs, much to his surprise, a large pig was sitting on his bed. Pardon me, said Wendell. He shoved some toys into his closet, but the pig didn't seem to mind the mess, and Wendell found that he didn't mind the pig either. He decided to take a break. When Wendell's mother came to look at his room, the pig was hiding, but the mess was still there. She threw up her hands. Okay, Wendell, she said, if you wanna live in a pigsty, that's up to you. Wendell could hardly believe his luck. Now I can live however I want. He didn't even worry when he came home on Tuesday and found a second pig in his room. The mess had grown a bit worse, but he was able to jam most of it under his bed. Pigs are all right, he said, as long as it's only one or two. In fact, they had a wonderful time. They played Monopoly until late each night and left the pieces lying all over the floor. They had paper airplane wars and pillow fights. The bed became a trampoline. Then two more pigs showed up. The mess just grew and grew. Look, they have their suitcases, they're moving in. That night when Wendell went to bed, the pigs were lying everywhere. They rolled up on in his blankets and hogged his pillows too. Wendell told himself he didn't mind, but then he found hoof prints on his comic book. And Friday when he got home from school, he saw that someone had been sitting on his basketball and his baseball cards were all chewed. It's not so fun anymore, is it? That does it, said Wendell. I've had enough. He ran downstairs to tell his mother. Sorry, she said, but your room is your responsibility. She handed him a broom. Wendell started to complain. The mess was too huge, but suddenly he remembered a saying he heard that many hooves make light work. He marched upstairs and organized a cleaning crew. They swept and scoured, polished and scrubbed. Later that afternoon, Wendell inspected his room and pronounced it clean. What, is that, what does that word inspected mean? Hmm, that word inspected means to look really closely. So he looked really closely at his room to see if it was all cleaned up. It says Wendell inspected his room and pronounced it clean. In fact, it was a bit too clean from a pig's point of view. So while Wendell inspected, the pigs prepared to go home. One of them made a phone call and a farm truck came to pick them up. They hugged and grunted and oinked goodbye. From that day on, Wendell kept his room clean. except for those nights when his friends came by to play Monopoly. I hope you enjoyed this book. I know it's silly, but it's always so important that we take care of our things and are responsible. So have a good day.